Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and today we're doing another Army Showcase, and this time we're going to be taking a look at our BEF Force. Alright, so this is my 51st Highland Division. That was the division that I um, built for, uh, based on our um, Abbeville campaign for Chain of Command that we played, which, which focuses on the 51st Highland Division. So these guys are 90% Warlord minis, maybe 10% non-Warlord, which we'll get to, but... Overall, the majority of the force are the Metal Warlord Minis. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. Start off over here with the support units. So these are all uh, Warlord. As I mentioned, uh, they, are, they are the 51st Highland, so I got a bunch of the plastic Tam O'Shanter hat heads uh, from the plastic um, British kit, and I put them on a bunch of them to make them uh, Scottish troops. So, uh, starting up front here, we're going to have two two-inch mortars. So, excellent unit in chain of command. Not so excellent in bolt action, but they're decent. They can move and fire. But chain of command, they're super good. So, I want to make sure I had two of them. So, I built two of those. And I've also got two boys' AT rifles. And those are good in both games. Uh, moving in the back here. So, over here, we just have a bunch of extra crewmen types. Now we got just an extra officer and then just crew members. Um, we also have a spotter. He can be used for the 3-inch mortar for bolt action. This is our 3-inch mortar team here. And then we also have the 2-pounder. So not a great weapon, but a very iconic uh, early war British weapon. And it's decent in chain of command as well. It would need a few more crew to field in that game, but that's what these guys are for. Then we have the Bofors. So this is one of my favorite models um, out of this entire army. Super cool unit in both games, and just looks really cool. And then lastly, we got the uh, Vickers, another iconic British weapon, uh, Vickers MG team. And again, chain of command, it would need five more, or I'm sorry, two more crewmen. But that's what these guys are here for, just to kind of fill out the ranks for any uh, weapons team that need more crew. So those are uh, all of our support for these guys. Moving along, we're going to have four infantry sections, all Warlord minis in all metal, but they're very nice, uh, very nice sculpts. And again, I've added some uh, Tam O'Shanter hats to the guys just to give them a more uh, 51st Highland Division look. So there's a lot of duplicates in here, but if you can mix in the different hats and you just mix them up within the squads, uh, they don't look too bad. I think this is for the same exact early war Brent or uh, <laughs> early war um, infantry section boxes that uh, Warlord makes. So. Uh, I was lucky enough to get at least one of these prone Bren teams. That's a random which one you get. And out of the four, I only got one of the prone Bren teams. So I was happy about that. Uh, the rest of them are just going to be these stand-up guys walking. But they still look cool. So uh, these are set up for chain of command right now. But it's usually how I run them in bolt action as well. Ten-man section. We have a six-man rifle team. We have a three-man Brent team, and then we have a um, corporal in charge of the section. He's armed with a rifle. And that is the bulk of the army, the infantry sections. And up here, we're going to have a couple more Warlords. So these are from the uh, Command Blister from Warlord. I use this guy for my free observer and bolt action, but he could just be used as a regular officer as well. Then we have our uh, Scottish Medic. So I've swapped his hat out as well. And then these guys, so these are some of my non-Warlord stuff. These are uh, from Pulp Figures, their British Empire range, the Highland Command Blister. And it's just a bunch of guys with kilts. So I kind of went out all up, went all in on these guys. I uh, gave them, I painted all the tartan, and I put a lot of effort into these guys to make them look cool. And they are very nice sculpts. Uh, but after painting these guys, I realized I'll never be painting like a, an entire regiment of Highlanders anytime soon because. The tartan was a challenge, but I think it really uh, came out well, and I'm happy with them. Uh, this is one of my favorite guys here. He's the Piper, so I usually put him in with my commander. Uh, he could also be used, or we have used him as the drinks cabinet from the 1940 Blitzkrieg supplement for Chain of Command. Let's remove shock, so he kind of acts as the uh, morale booster when he comes in and playing his bagpipes. And then just a couple more generic officers. This guy could be a... NCO somewhere, another officer. So I'm really happy with how these figures came out. And then I got this guy as well, the down pilot. 
he doesn't really do anything except uh, act as an objective in games. But again, he looks cool, and this is something different to throw on the table as an objective. And last up, uh, the few vehicles that I do. I don't have a lot of vehicles for this force, but I do have two tanks. So these are two different scales, I believe. I think this is the A9. Um, it's got two turrets. It's got the close support turret and the regular turret. I think this is 148. It's a 3D print I got from a friend. And then the Matilda 2, that's a Warlord Games Mini. Um, but this one's really nice. This one came out pretty good, I thought. And it's a fun tank to use in the game. This one's really fun to use too with all the machine guns on it. But in bolt action, it's very light armor. Actually, in both games, it'd be very light armor. It does have a lot of machine guns, so it's effective that way. And then back here, we have three of our 3D printed brain carriers. So I wanted a whole platoon of these. And um, I can run sections in these in chain of command. I can run sections in these in bolt action with some special rules. So there's a fun unit to have. Pretty effective as well if you add some machine guns to them and uh, load them up with dudes. And that is pretty much it for the BEF force. So it doesn't look like a lot when it's all laid out like this as much uh, compared to as much time as I felt like I spent on them. But uh, I wanted to get them out, uh, show them off a little bit as it's one of my favorite armies and one of our most popular armies on the channel as well. So anyway, uh, I just want to show you guys what these guys look like. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll see you next time.